Okay, so I just recorded a video and you couldn't hear a darn thing I said because it was raining. And it's still raining. And my camera's very bright. That wouldn't affect if you can hear me or not. Hold on. I turned the heater off for a second. I will freeze for you. Not really, I'm just freezing for myself. But, um, uh, what was I gonna say? This is a very random beginning to this video. Uh, so, it's Monday, and I thought I would vlog this week. I just felt like it, like just like a week vlog, and then hopefully post this on Friday. I will definitely post this on Friday. I'm making that promise to you now. Let's see if that actually happens. Um, but I hope everybody is doing okay wherever you are with this whole coronavirus thing. It is crazy. It is scary. Um, I went to the store yesterday with my mom because my uncle needed food for Penny, and we like she was already here so she was just kind of like saving the trip since she was already out and just go and get it so that he didn't have to go out and i was like well i'll go with you just to get like a couple things like not really necessities but just you know because i forgot a couple necessities actually but um i went with her and it was very like it was so weird like there weren't many cars in the parking lot which was weird for one thing, and then the shelves are empty, which has kind of been happening anyway, as it's been getting closer to this time. But they had signs that said, like, please stay six feet away from people. And the creepiest part, which I talked about this on Instagram, but the creepiest part was, like, um, we were in the last aisle by, like, the milk and the juice and stuff. And a voice came over the loudspeaker, and it was, like, a robotic voice. It was just a recording, but it was, like... We ask that you keep your distance from other customers. Please stay six feet away from each other and all this other stuff. And it's like, that was so creepy. Like, that gave me chills. Like, I never, like, the shelves being empty. It's like, yeah, that's weird to see. But then hearing that was like, holy crap. Like, it just really freaked me out. So no more stores. <laughs> no more going out unnecessarily. Um, but, yeah. So hopefully... Wherever you are, if you see this, you are, you know, okay. I know some people have to go out for work and, you know, need to, to go places. And I don't know. That just really, really sucks. Like, but the, the least amount you have to go out, the better. Um, like, I see people a few days, well, it was like a week ago now, where there are people on a beach and... They're just like partying it up and they're like, you know, we're fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's like that kind of stuff. Like you're an idiot if you do that kind of stuff, if you're just reckless about it. Like even if you don't care about yourself, like think about other people, you know, it just gets me mad, but I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go into a ramble first thing in the video. Um, but yeah, I'm, I just felt like recording this week. Um, probably not going to be that interesting. I mean, you know. I don't think my videos that are that interesting otherwise, but they might be less interesting now. Not really. I don't really show going anywhere that I can't go now. So my, my videos are probably going to be equally as uh, boring, whether you're in isolation or not. So <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, what else? I don't know. I've just been sitting out here. Um, like I said, I had the heater on. I was doing some Lion Bridge. I did that for about two hours. I was going to stop and get some lunch. I just went home from work since last week. Um, Thursday and Friday and then I think he said until the 27th at the earliest he's here but um, I think it's gonna be a lot longer than that with how things are going uh, the first case of it um, in our county was reported over the weekend and then there's like another one nearby like all the surrounding counties like had it within the last week I would say um, but yeah so I don't know. I think it's just kind of starting here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I try not to get freaked out about it. Like, I know it's scary. I know it's serious. But like, if I just watch the news all day, I'll be like panicked. So I watch like maybe an hour of news in the morning, if that. And then like my mom will send me articles and stuff throughout the day. So I find stuff out that way. But it's just like usually in the morning. And then I like try to go on with my day. Anyways. I'm gonna go make some lunch and then I gotta, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was gonna shower, but then I kinda want to exercise. I think I'm gonna exercise first. 
I've been doing a lot of treadmills, so I think I'm going to mix it up and do a workout, like a preview of a workout called 10 rounds. I was looking at it. Um, basically, it's like a boxing workout. I don't know. I was going to say MMA. I don't know if they're the same thing, if they're different. I have no idea, but it's a boxing workout. So we're in the car. We had to start over because we joked about mom having the corona and she doesn't. Oh, let's see that. Yeah. <laughs> She's so getting gas. She's gonna. Just, she's gonna use the thing. Where's your thing? Does she have a? I don't need it. Hand or a wet one? Just use no, it. No, you want. I told her she's too panicked, and I'm like, protect your hands. Here's a blue piece of paper right there. Ah! Oh no! I don't know. Watch this. I have one ready. Hit that finger. Wipe it clean. <laughs> Cleaner than that, you did two seconds. You know what? I see. I wet my car. Yeah. Yeah. I see online a lot that a lot of like younger people are yelling at their parents to stay inside, and that's so true. I'm like, Mom, you can't go to stores anymore. You can't be doing this. Well, Carol's but that's like going, a theme. She's going today. She's eating. And then she's going to finish eating. No, you can't reuse them. Are you nuts? <laughs> Wash it, blow it dry, and. That's it. So let's talk about what mom's talking about. Next week, Nanny's in the back. Pop over, Nanny. Huh? Pop, see, you're on camera. I'm huh? going to do Nanny's hair. <laughs> Excited, Nanny. I'm, I'm depressed because I can't get my, of all the things going on. Of all I, the things, she I can't get her hair. I used to do it all myself. Then I got spoiled with starting to go into a hairdresser. Yeah. When I did it all myself, now I don't have to be her new hairdresser. I said I'll make her a cup of coffee, a letter pick not even use a bottle it. Shampoo. I told Greg, well, it was when you were here, you were over the one day, and I was like, I might have to do Nanny's hair. And Greg just like chuckled, and then I was like, no, like I'm gonna, like Mom said she's looking into stuff like rollers and everything. He's like, wait, are you serious? I'm like, yeah. I cut you his hair. Mine? No, he doesn't mind. I'll even bring my cleaners with me. That's okay. I'll bring my. I can clean everything up with my here. Uh, alcohol things, wipes. Oh, and it doesn't stuff. matter. Oh, alcohol wipes. <laughs> All that. I got a cape. I could just pop it around you. Oh, I, I, you know what I said would have been good? Remember when I, well, before I got into using a curling iron, remember they had those heated rollers where they're in a container and you plug it in oh, and I then never you use each one? I was afraid. I would never get them because I was afraid they'd burn your scalp. They were good. They yeah. probably would have been the best. Because I, I remember, hey, way, way back. Now, this is Tell us a story of how how you used to do hair. No, no I, I didn't one time. Get this. I huh. went for a farm. Yeah. I was only a kid, right? Uh huh. I was downtown, one of those big buildings. Uh -huh. that was a place to get hair done. Mm -hmm. And it was for a farm. And you know where the how they did it? Huh. It was horrible. Stranger, this might not even wash their hands, or it's probably wiping all sorts of stuff. 
don't know if your family here. members wash their hands right. True. I'll show you ah, how. Car I'll be sitting in here until you get the bridge in. Okay. Yeah, we're on the way to my uncle's to move the bridge. Did, did we hit the bridge? No. Oh, not yet. But I just wanted to vlog a little. I like having you in the vlog. It's fun. Because Greg doesn't want to be in them anymore. Do you don't want to be in do them. I, but and I leaned over to do it. Manny likes it. She likes no, the camera. No, I don't. It's kind of, don't put that on. If I, I'm not going to put she that on. She puts her glasses on. She's like getting all dolled up. She's ready to go. <laughs> I'm not all dolled up. <laughs> no. But maybe I'll turn this off and then I'll save some of my camera for some Penny. Yeah, and save it for something other than. I'll save it for mine. Penny and Cody. A little bit of them. Okay. Right. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so I didn't. It's Thursday night and I didn't vlog at all of my uncles. I thought I was gonna. I saved some like battery footage stuff, but it was just a crazy time and the dogs were not very good today. <laughs> um, they were just fighting with each other and barking like crazy all the time, so it was just a very hectic time. I didn't vlog it at all. Um, and I was gonna clean out the bottom, like, kitchen cabinets. I'm doing that tomorrow, um, but I just don't feel like it tonight. I just feel a bit faint, and I just kind of want to, like, get into PJs and not do anything. So this vlog was kind of all over the place. It's much easier when I do, like, a one-day vlog. I think I'm just gonna do that anymore. Um, plus with Greg home from work, I thought, okay, well, I can vlog, like, all the time because he just kind of stays in the office all day but then I feel like I have to be extra quiet so I don't really know <laughs> um, I feel like I'm vlogging less now that he's home just because I don't want to like disrupt him and then when he's not working I also don't want to be annoying so I'm I'm just kind of vlogging like like in the sunroom or with you know my mom and stuff like that <sighs> So yeah, I think I'm just going to do like a weekend vlog anymore, but um, yeah, I just, I don't know, because I think I left off saying I'm going to save some camera stuff for the dogs, and I just didn't do that, because like I said, they were like nutso today, so yeah, that's going to be it, and I'll just record some tomorrow. Okay, so it's Friday, and I already tried recording this a couple times. And I just keep rambling on, so I'm just going to talk, and whatever comes out, I'm just putting in the video. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done? I did just put out food and peanuts, though, so I guess I shouldn't really be surprised. I'm eating breakfast right now. I'm having some tofu scramble, sausage patties like I had last week. I should be rationalizing the sausage patties because they're frozen, but they were really good, and I just wanted to eat some. My food's probably going to get cold. It probably already is cold because, like I said, I tried recording this a couple times. I think I hear Greg in the kitchen. He probably hears me talking. Mm. I feel like I need to listen to some Jewel. I feel very stressed lately. <laughs> and Jewel always calms me down. I've also been listening to um, Mandy Moore. Greg is definitely in the kitchen. <laughs> I almost missed my mouth. This is what happens when I say this is the time I'm going to put this in the video. This is the last time I'm recording. Let's try this again. So, it's Friday. I'm eating breakfast. I think I'll leave that in. I already said that. Yeah, I'm going to try to vlog more today because I haven't really much this week. I mean, here and there. But I don't really know what I'm doing today. Like, I don't even know if it's going to be that exciting today because I'm going to eat this. Then I want to log into Lion Bridge and see if there's any tasks available. I think everybody being home is just eating up all the tasks because I did like an hour yesterday and then 40 minutes the day before. Um, and then it just says like no more tasks available, which sucks. Um, so hopefully there's more today, but what can you do? Um, so yeah, there's that. And then I kind of want to go over my mom's. I haven't just like gone over my mom's and hung out there in a bit. And I just want to do that. It just sounds fun. So I'm going to do that. Um, I got to do laundry. And then I'm going to clean out the kitchen cabinets. Like I said, I'm going to do that today. I'm definitely going to do that. I need to do that. Food is cold. 
Why do I do this? Why do I turn on the camera? I'm going to eat and something always goes wrong where I have to record again. I just keep talking and my food gets cold. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> I think Greg's still in the kitchen. That's why I'm like. Hesitating. When have I become so self conscious about like vlogging? I hear a noise and I'm like, I can't do this. Anyway, um, but I had something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, I watched two things recently that I kind of want to talk about. One was a movie called Can You Keep a Secret? And I don't remember the name of the people in it. Um, the girl has very pretty blue eyes. I always remember like her blue eyes. <laughs> um, and then the guy. He played Martin on 7th Heaven, if anybody remembers him. He looks so familiar. I was like, who is this person? I know this person is somewhere. And that's where it was. I used to love 7th Heaven. That used to be my show. I can't record. Okay, he's actually not in the kitchen. If he was, he's not anymore. So, let me go back to confidently talking about my movie. So, basically, the movie is about this girl. And she goes on a plane and um, there's turbulence and she basically thinks she's gonna die so she starts rambling off all her secrets and the guy um, he turns out to be her like the owner of the company she works at or something so he like comes to the company to see how things are going so they like meet up again and it's just a cute movie I really liked it um, so I definitely recommend that like I watch more romantic comedy stuff like I haven't done that in a while so I'm kind of getting back into it. Like I kind of went through a phase where I just watched like horror movies all the time and that was my thing, but, and I still like to do that, but I kind of miss like romantic comedy type movies. So I want to watch more of that. But if you want, want to watch something that is going to educate yourself, I recommend um, The Animal People on Netflix. It's basically about this group of people known as the Sa <laughs> the Shack 7, who basically tried to shut down this company because of its animal testing practices and kind of like bring that to light. Um, it's very interesting because it kind of explains like why they did it, who they were. Like they went to jail for like, I think like three years a piece. And um, it's just very interesting. I know I talked about this on Instagram, but I remember reading about them when I went vegetarian because they did this in like the, it was like 1994 or something. Um, and I remember reading about it when I went vegetarian and I was like, wow, that's cool. But I also thought it was like extreme because they would go to people's houses, like the people that worked at these companies or this company and um, like they would like bang on their door, they'd have their loudspeakers and like or megaphones, whatever, and be like yelling, like come outside and like you're a murderer and have pictures of like the animals like that were like kind of mutilated and stuff like that. And I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's a little too much, but I also think if you're trying to make a scene and trying to like tell people what's going on, that's definitely going to do it, but I would never do that kind of thing. But it was just interesting. But the thing I didn't understand was that when they were in court, they couldn't talk about why they were doing it. They couldn't talk about the stuff that they saw at the lab. And I didn't understand that. Like I said, like the prosecutor basically convinced the judge to not let them talk about it. So basically they just look like a bunch of punks like going around yelling at people and stuff like that. And nobody knew why they were doing it. I have to look into that more. But um, yeah, like if you don't know much about animal testing, definitely look into it. I think that movie might be a good place to start. Um, it is a little graphic, like it does show some of the animals and stuff like that. You kind of have to just to explain why these people are so against it, you know? So, um, yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, if you look into it, like, I feel like anybody, like, if you knew what goes into animal testing, you would not want to buy things that would make that happen more, you know? But I just think a lot of people don't know or don't care to look into it or think it's not that bad or whatever. But 
it's just so messed up. So definitely look into it, watch that documentary. Um, and like I said, for a lighthearted thing, watch that movie. I give you like both, I give you both worlds. Like learn about this, look into this, this is important, but then, you know, just for fun, you can watch this too. I don't know about the documentary, but the movie is only like an hour and a half, which is the perfect movie time, I think. If anything goes over like an hour and a half, you're, you're starting to lose me, but if I, like I can do like two hours, I can accept two hours, but I mean, I've watched like three, three and a half hour movies before and it's just like so much time and it's like, you could have cut some stuff, you know, it's just too much. So yeah, if anything is longer than like two hours, no, I gotta go eat. I was going to shove this in my mouth, but I'm going to go eat and then I will be back. Change of plans. My mom just messaged me and said, if Steve comes in, do you want to go for a ride? I said, yes. Usually we're, I mean, now it's just we're gonna be probably going to like a park or something like that because no stores, stay the way, from, stay away from stores. The last time we went to a store together, it was like early last week and we did go to the grocery store then. He went to Lowe's to like get, cause he was building like a wooden gate thing um, because we're gonna have to take Cody to the vet. That was a whole nother thing I didn't even talk about. Well, we're going to have to take Cody to the vet because he has like a lump on his face um, that he had looked at before. And it's not cancerous, but they said if it gets bigger, you might want to think about having it removed. And it has gotten a little bit bigger, so we have to take him to the vet again. Um, and we had to take Penny to the vet on Tuesday. That was a big stressful thing. I'm not going to talk about it. She's fine. It was just a little bit of a scare, but everything is okay. Um but that was weird oh my gosh my food is just gonna be so cold okay i was gonna talk about this really quick but we went to the vet and that was a really weird well oh my gosh i have so many stories going right now my brain is just like like a computer like with the tabs okay well, let me first go back to the first tab that i was talking about um the last time i went to the store my uncle came in um we went to the grocery store then we went to lowe's because he's trying to build a fence because the dogs go crazy and um, like just to block off one side. So he got stuff from that, but he was like looking at different stuff. And like I, in my mind was like, okay, well maybe they have some kind of like disinfectant wipes or something like that. So I was looking at stuff and like there were a lot of times I thought it was like an antibacterial thing, but it was just like an all purpose wipe. I kept seeing those and I would like turn it around. And he was like, don't touch. Like everything I, everything I looked, he's like, don't touch. And I was like, you're, you're acting like I'm a kid. Cause he's like, you can look at things without touching things. I'm like, you take me to stores. I don't even need to be at. And you say, don't touch, don't touch. So but whatever, but we're not going to any stores today. But I took Penny to the vet. That was a weird experience too, because basically you got to the parking lot, then you had to call them. Then they took your information. Then they would call you when they were going to send out a nurse. The nurse would come out, take the dog back then the doctor would come out talk about what they thought they'd go back in then somebody would come out to take payment then they'd go back in get your receipt and then bring the dog back out and they'd have masks on and stuff so it was a very weird experience like i know like i said earlier in this video i know it's a serious thing i know it's bad but like when you're at home you don't really like think about it too much it's like yeah like that it's really bad that's why we're staying home but um, then when you go out and you like see people and like how people are like doing things, that's like, holy crap, this is weird. So stay home people. I say, as I say, I'm probably going somewhere today, but I'm going to like a park or something. No stores though. I promise you no stores. Do not go to stores. I cannot say this enough. It is very scary. I've been, um, um, like I said, I watched the news a little bit in the morning and New York, like, oh my God, there's more. I looked it up like New York has more cases of this than some countries like it's crazy and i found out that they are moving people from new york prisons to prisons around here which is like so stupid i don't understand and last weekend centralia if you remember centralia there were like 250 or 300 people that like flocked to centralia and 
like they had like a bonfire or something and like somebody called the fire department and they had to leave but all these people are from like new york and new jersey it's like what the heck like stay stay in your own freaking state like I, I hate to sound like mean but like if people get locked down like if they do something wrong and they have like these ankle bracelets on and stuff like that why can't you like lock down the state borders like i don't understand i know people work in different states especially in pennsylvania pennsylvania people like depending where you live you can work in new york you can work in new jersey you know so you can't do that but that's what makes me think like just stay in your own freaking state like stop spreading things around but um yeah i gotta go eat i just rambled off so many things i start this by being like i don't know what i'm gonna say i don't know what i'm gonna do and then i just ramble a bunch of crap that probably nobody cares about this is really cold i gotta heat this up So it's Sunday, I'm currently crashed on the couch, I'm not feeling very good right now. Um, I was out in the sunroom editing this vlog actually, but it was cold and the heater wasn't working, so the cold and me don't mix very well, usually I just feel dizzy after I've been out in the cold, which is what happened, and um, a lot of the footage is just me talking. But I think I'm just going to upload it. I don't know. Um, but I did record a little clip of me making um, general style tofu. But I didn't do it right, even though it turned out pretty good. I didn't do it right, and i just rather wait and make it again. Um, so, for the recipe of the week, once I feel good enough to get up and make it, I'm going to show you how I make... A smoothie bowl that I made yesterday so you saw it on Instagram yesterday maybe if you follow me on there and you'll see how I made it today which is pretty simple like it's 10 o'clock right now and I still haven't eaten I just don't feel good enough to get myself food <laughs> so oh I hear one of the birds I love chirping anyway this will this this will happen once I'm feeling good enough to get up. <laughs> Guys, this is future Nikki talking to you right now. Smoothie bowl is made. I did not press record before I started making it. I literally like showed you what I was using, did not press record. However, there was an incident where agave flew up in the air and it got on my shirt and it got in my hair and a little bit of, ah, oh my goodness, agave. <gasps> I literally got agave on my shirt. Okay, so I got the agave off my shirt and out of my hair. We're continuing on with some cinnamon. Oh, I'm such a messy person. Okay, lots and lots of cinnamon. Lots and lots. Oh, okay. Did I just say about being a messy person? Look at that. Oh, and I know I kind of like dusted it up with the cinnamon. Yeah, hold on. We'll just get rid of some of the cinnamon in the center. <laughs> There you go. Got a little river running through it. It's so pretty though, like all of this. Okay, I'm gonna go eat. And I pressed record to talk about that, but somehow I didn't record the whole thing. So there's not gonna be a recipe this week. There's the clip of, I showed you what it looked like when it was like fresh and pretty. I'll show you right now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what it is when you're still eating it. So if you want this bowl, <laughs> two frozen bananas, a half a cup of, not a half a cup, a half a container of a small cup of like the individual vegan yogurts, um, vanilla yogurt, half a teaspoon of green spirulina, then I use frozen peaches, frozen dragon fruit, fresh strawberries, fresh blueberries, flaxseed, and chocolate chips. So if you want that, 
there you have it. <laughs> this, oh my gosh, this vlog, I'm not even showing my face. This, I, I, I can't even, to sound like a snobby girl, I can't even right now. But no, like basically it's just me talking, it's me feeling uncomfortable and not wanting to vlog around Greg, and then it's me saying, hey, I'm gonna show you how to make a smoothie bowl and then not doing it, so there's that. And also I was gonna clean out the cabinets under the sink, which I haven't done. This video is supposed to go up on Friday, and then I said Saturday, and then Saturday, and now Sunday. So, <laughs> I don't know. Like, this makes me want to just scrap everything, but then I already put time, even though it was stupidity, I already put time into this video. So I was like, maybe I should just upload it. Ow. This is really good though. I do recommend it. Oh, and cinnamon. Always tons of cinnamon on top. Maybe I should clean out the cabinets quick. See what's under there. Maybe that would be exciting. I was going to put it off again, but I really wanted to do that. So I was going to use the vlog as like a reason. Be like, I'm going to show you what's in the cabinets. <sighs> it's 1030. I never eat breakfast at 1030. Today is just an off day. Already. It wasn't meant to be sexy. There was cinnamon on the side and I just wanted to get it off. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go eat. Let me know what you put in your smoothie bowls. Maybe I'll maybe I'll make more in the future and actually show it and like talk about it more. But it's a smoothie bowl, so is there really much to talk about? This is when I start questioning everything I'm vlogging. I'm just gonna go and I'll see you when I clean out the cabinets. Okay, so finally gonna go through cabinets. Are you zoomed in? Yes, you are. I don't know where to put you. And Greg's done his shower, so I'm gonna start being awkward again. Um, right there. I feel like that's not a very flattering angle. Good enough. So we have these, which I guess I will keep because my mom gave me them specifically to give stuff to people. So this is not mine. Is this mine? This is mine. I got this for Greg's sister's baby shower to put like sweets on, but I don't need that. I don't know what this is for. This I actually bought because I wanted this when I was going up. Uh, my uncles to, like watch Penny because I would always take something to eat. Usually a salad and it would just fit in here perfectly. And yeah, it's Lisa Frank and it's so cute. And I love Lisa Frank so that is a keeper for sure. This is from our wedding but... I don't really need it. My grandmother gave me this dish, which is very nice. It has like a um, scene on it. This is to that. I feel like I'm missing a key part in all these things. This is to our fridge. A spare drawer. I don't know why. Rolling pin. Keeping that. Cheese cloth. I was gonna make cheese. This I need. Well, no, you're coming out. I'm gonna be awkward. Are you going to read something that I want? No, I just oh. mean I'm going to be awkward because you're listening to me. Right. Remember these? Mom gave me these. We never use them. What are those? They're like flutes. Flutes. Oh. oh. We never use them. What are you saying? Get rid of them. No. Oh, here we go. You know what? I'll use it right now so it gets some use. What are you supposed to put in these? Mimosas, who wouldn't go for a nice part mimosa? And then you're supposed to throw some fruit in there, I've learned. I had a mimosa at Greg's um, sister's baby shower, and I didn't know how to make it, but her boyfriend showed me how to make it. <laughs> He's in the other room, whatever. Um, this can come in handy, reusable bag. I should use this for my thumbnail. Even though my whole video is just rambling about random stuff and talking about the coronavirus, I could be like, <laughs> I don't even know. This is just a hazard, that's what this is. I said how I feel when you're 
That one's it. Hold on. That's how I feel when you're vlogging. And then it's that. <clears throat> While you're here, Craig's making a slight appearance. Do you want to explain all your alcohol? I'll show you. I promise he's not an alcoholic. He just looks like one. So how do you explain this? It's special because it's the Metallica whiskey. And this. It's special because it's the Metallica whiskey. <laughs> and this. Well, that's still got whiskey in it. Well, but you it's, don't need but, it, but it's probably going to stick. Yeah, but they're different batches, so it's special. It's like a collector's item. Do I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with them yet. We'll see at the top. There's like a batch number. But who cares? What does it matter? You're not like batch one. Well, just, just give me some time. If you're not first, you're last batch. Give me some time. 96. 96 and 91 that you were that close in batches bottles? Oh wait, batches. Well, there was there was a big gap because the one guy died. So that might have how been many why. batches are in a box, or how many bottles are in a batch? I think mean, it's. I don't know. I don't know if that's like a like a barrel of it. You don't need these. This just, is why I want to get just, rid of just, things. Just come on. So then you have a kraken. Yeah. Well, that was that was the first Halo weekend here. Is this what they mean by release the kraken? No. We have a little that. kraken. See, that's. Not as special. That was just that was just a birthday gift to me. Should take. But that was that was really good that though. That was gone. Well, there's like a drop if you really want. That was, that was really good. Yeah. I think my dad so. I don't collected how we got... these little things. Yeah, because I think you decided that was the cool one, so we hung on to that yeah, one. Yeah, you have this, which was and my dad. It, yeah. See, so those ones have reason. I'm not getting rid of those. That was your dad's last unopened bottle. That's not true. So my dad would have a like a few glasses of whiskey on a Friday night and this is the stuff that everybody would get him for holidays, birthdays, whatever, so he'd have like oh, two or three of them. There could be them. Um, but my mom was going to give the open one to Greg and I was like, no, like that was the one dad was drinking, don't give it to Greg. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just drink it. So I think she has that one. We could keep it and just, well, I don't, no, I don't, I don't trust when I have friends over if there's someone will no, see that. I don't trust you. Don't well, trust me. I'm not much of a whiskey person, I'm actually more of a rum person, which is the interesting thing because I'm actually like a big Captain Morgan person of any of those. But Kraken's kind of replaced that. I don't a little drink, bit. so I'm not really in it. Oh, you, you took a shot, you took a shot of that whiskey. You took it like a yeah. champ. <laughs> and I was sipping on it like a fine wine. <laughs> that's what somebody said. I was yeah, like, that's true, you don't really take it like a shot. I don't drink, drink. Like if I drink, I have um, a wine cooler, usually with my mom, and I don't drink all of it because I get tired. <laughs> that's what happened. But... When we were, when Greg's parents were in town, we went out to eat and they had the new Yingling uh, Flight, it's called, which is apparently it's light beer. The girl is like, it's low carb, low sugar, low everything. And she's like, everybody loves it. So Greg was like, okay. Well, I, like, I, I knew I wasn't going to like it because it was like a light beer. But I tried like, a sip of it and it actually wasn't bad. Like I've tried like sips of beer before and it's always been horrible and it just tastes bitter and it's gross. It's like coffee, like why would you drink it? But the light beer actually tastes better. So what is that? What is it missing? Is it less wheat? I'm not sure what it is. But... I found something fun. What's that? Taco bowl maker. I always wanted the to try this. You, you ever even used that? No. Man. I got it at Ollie's for two bucks. See, I would like that even with my own taco stuff. Cause, uh, Cause at Moe's, I've talked about Moe's before where you get the burrito bowl or taco bowl, like a, it's like a shell and it's really good, but this is baked so it's not going to be as good, but it would still be good. How is this going to be 10 minutes? It's already 12. I need this stuff. Come, no, brownies! I'm, no! Lasagna! No. What's the netting? I don't know. deep frying? So. Oh, it's probably for deep frying. No, I'm getting rid of that. Come on, that was a gift. You got face in your face. See, he doesn't want to be in the vlog, he just likes to talk. You should have a podcast. Does anybody know of any good podcasts? I'm almost done my Bella podcast. I should post about that on I Instagram. Tons of podcasts. I don't like your podcast. You listen to boring podcasts. Do I? Yes. All right. Do I? This drawer. Potato maker. Keeping the potato maker that comes in, or potato peeler. Okay, here's a story time. My uncle had a shot glass collection and he knows Greg likes to drink. <laughs> Not that much though. You talk like I'm an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic. You saw the thing. <laughs> you saw the Kraken. It's a problem. It's a problem. But um, 
Well, he know. Well, he knows you drink. Like that's why he gave them to you. And he was like, well, the way you say it. and he had like a huge um, glass thing with all these shot glasses that he got from places or people gave him stuff like that. And he was taking it down. And he was like, would Greg want these? And I said, no. And then he's like, did you ask him? And I said, no. And he's like, well, ask him. So then I asked him and then Greg said, yes. So now my, and so now Greg has my uncle's shot glass collection. And there's still more in here. And they just sit and take up room. Like, I want to become like a minimalist. But what, what are the shot glasses mean to you? They're thieves. Yeah, but you don't care. Yeah, but they're special to him. Why would you just get rid of them? Star Wars cookie cutters. I got these. I've used them. I'll keep them. Um, that needs to be washed. That was not at all. <laughs> it's supposed to go. Okay, we're just going to leave it for now. Cookie cutters. This is like a big selection that looks like it's for a child, but I've actually used these on multiple occasions for different things. Don't judge me. Paper bag. This is literally pretty much it. Like pretty much what I wanted to go through this here. Rolling pin my mom gave me because I couldn't find my wooden one. Wooden one, but then I found it, and um, I still have hers for some reason. What else we got? <laughs> Ravioli maker. Ravioli maker. <sighs> Yes, we're not getting rid of that. No, this is handy. That was to make your life easier. However, I don't think I really use it too much. That's another thing. Like I kind of compressed for a second because I shoved it in real hard, and then it like went back to its original shape and, you know it, and knocked the lid off. You know what? This calls for some of this. The, 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 the things you endure. <laughs> no, this is really cute, but. Okay, enough of that. Um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, that'd be a fun little segment to like, that was what the Bella Twins do actually. They're like, pop that bottle. So I could be like, open that orange juice. But no, this is another thing I didn't use that much because I cut it and I roll it and I press it with a fork. Like it's a good idea, but I can do it quicker without. Is there paint in here? to go somewhere else. This is to my pasta maker. Where is my pasta maker? Oh, that's in the uh, closet. I have a pasta maker that you crank out on like spaghetti and stuff. What should we do with this um, filter? Pitcher. Filter pitcher? Filter pitcher. We're, we're keeping it. We haven't used it for we're like two it years. Because it could get to the point that we can't get water over there. We can use tap water again. I think I have like filters and stuff that we haven't used. <laughs> See, I got this. This is handy when you're traveling, but I haven't used it in a while. Not this. This is for deviled eggs. I don't even need to have that at all. This is for cupcakes or just a cake. So that's nice. I haven't used it in a long time. But you never know when you're going to need to carry a cupcake, right? Don't get me flagged. Cookie cutters. Halloween cookie cutters that I clearly haven't used either. But they can go in with the other cookie cutters. That's fine. By the way, since the last time I vlogged, I'm feeling so much better. I actually ran or jogged, probably jogged and then slash run every now and then, almost five miles in an hour, which is really good for me. Um... Here's a tip if you want to get into running. Put on music that you like, and when it gets to like your favorite part of the song, just run. That's what I do. I listen to like yeah. usually rock stuff, but it could be anything. And then when you get that part of the song that you really love, or the chorus, or whatever, like that's usually what I do like a chorus. So I'll, like, I'll just like kind of walk fast or jog, and then when that part comes in, then I just run. That's my tip. Might be it for the vlog. I don't know. This was probably the most interesting part of the vlog because, like I said, I just talked for the rest of it and then, I don't know. It's, it's like a pointless vlog, really, but I just wanted to do this and I just wanted to show it, so that might be it for the week. Maybe. I don't know. Here's, here's the goodbye if I don't see you again, so goodbye.